I've been bitching about, uh, I live in LA here with you, so you've seen this, and I'm hoping that it went international news. Um, uh, Sean Fucht was this, uh, this preacher that came down here over the weekend with his maskless hordes and did a bunch of acoustic concerts which that alone, if I stopped there, is enough. But he did a right. bunch of like Christian acoustic concerts. Maskless and acoustic. Yes. But yes, keep going. In Christian Skid- maskless acoustic. Okay, we've got three exactly. there. In Skid Row and Echo Park, two of the areas of LA where our houseless neighbors are congregating more than anywhere else. And it's Here's the thing. The churches need to they've needed a loser tax exempt status forever now, especially at the beginning of this, where they got money uh, that they shouldn't. They got taxpayer money, even though they haven't paid taxes in the history of the world. The Catholic Church got billions of dollars. Um, But now, like, they're literally just terrorist organizations. Um, The amount of spread that is happening because of religious ceremonies and services. Yes. I mean, I here's the thing. There's so many people that are believe in God when they die. Their God's going to be like. It, not like this, though. <laughs> That's not what they're about. You're the, terrorizing you know, the, homeless people. It's it, right. It's, so he yeah. rolls up with his because he's got a huge base, like followers, huge, huge, and brought them to Skid Row. Yeah, a place that also all already struggles in like gaining mm-hmm. safe and sanitary access to like mm-hmm. you know whatever bathroom, soap, it, anything. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a ton of uh, local pastors and preachers that work specifically with that community already who were like, please do not come here. We do not want you. And it's like, you know, what would Jesus do? Would he just go down into the hordes of people and just give them a plague? Um, no, that was his dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his dad was really he did fall far from the tree, I think. Yeah, absolutely. To believe. But he. Like Jesus definitely didn't like roll up and be like, "Have you guys heard Stairway to Heaven?" But on my <laughs> uke, you know, and like, yeah, exactly. What if I change the word to some Hanson songs and they make them about Jesus or what? He's got that vibe. He looks like if the Hansons had a Ringo. Like that's what this guy looks like. <laughs> Such a loser. It's like you ugh. know, the first Congressperson who was a Congressperson elect died this week. Yeah. Um, uh, Luke uh, Letlow was his name, I believe, and like. One of the articles says like, oh, well, his he was a God fearing man. I'm like, well, not that scared. I mean, not that much. Well, it's like that parable. of enough. It's the parable of like the guy and the flood is coming and he's like, oh, God will protect me. And then a pet helicopter comes down and he's like, no, no, God will save me. And then like a boat comes up and he's like, no, no, I'm waiting for God to save me. And then he drowns and he goes to heaven and God's like, I sent a helicopter. I sent a boat. What do you want to happen here? And it's like, that's. Like, they're all just like, God's going to protect me from COVID. And he's like, yeah, God made masks, you fucking idiots. Yep, that's so, exactly right. Like, if you can't, like, you know, I live in LA, I'm spiritual, whatever. But it's like, if you can't, like, keep what you believe in your heart, then you don't believe anything in the first place. It's just your ego out in the streets. Like, get ego out of here. Subjecting people to acoustic renditions of, oh, I don't know, no. hymns just not good if you're an actual christian and you actually believe the word of jesus you should be condemning these people and going down with masks you should be spraying them in the face like they're a dog that did something wrong this is (laughs) when my dog looks like he's gonna like hump the couch or something he gets sprayed with this this is what i want christians to do i want christians to have a squirt bottle that's what happens yeah, if you see that'd be the best anti mat like better than filming an anti-masker just squirting them with a water bottle Oh, yeah. I mean, I think I'm more disrespectful. Oh, I think I I truly believe that's what we all need to be doing from now on. I'm just going to carry this with me and I'm going to get a holster for a water bottle that I can just be like, no, no. Where's your mask? Where's your mask? Go back to your car. Go back to your car. Nope. Get off the bulked goods. Uh Uh-uh. No. No. Off the toilet paper. Treating all these people like coyotes and bad dogs. That's what happens (laughs) from now on.